Before we get to our Deploy and Connect video, we wanted to show you a quick little trick for naming each device in the room. In our last video, we were working with Small Conference Room 1. We now want to relate each device in this room by renaming the device to include the room name. You can see I have already started by naming the MXA920 by adding Small Conference Room 1 to the device name. Let's select the P300 and do the same. You saw that I double-clicked on the P300, and that took me to the configuration screen. I don't want to do that. We only need to click on the device one time, and it opens up the property panel where I can rename the device. Again, I'll add the Small Conference Room 1 name to the P300 device. I will now do that for the remaining devices. It's as simple as that. As can be seen, each device name within the room now corresponds to the room name. This makes it easier as you design rooms virtually and then must deploy and connect those devices to the live room. The other areas under the Device Property panel will take you to the Configuration screen, or you can click on the microphone under the Properties panel and it will let you know what device you're working on by muting the microphone for the device. It is an easy way to cross-check what device you're working with. This is especially important when you have more than one of the same type of device in a room, like speakers and microphones. You can also see other areas within the Device Property panel that relates to device control, such as light settings for your LEDs. You can also look at the control network and audio network if needed. Another area within the property panel we need to mention, especially when you look at an MXA microphone or the MXA mute button, is the light settings for those devices. When we select light settings under the property panel, we can see the MXA920 light settings where we can select the color for the unmute and mute behavior. As can be seen via the drop-down menu, we have many colors available for mute and unmute behavior. We understand that many organizations use different colors other than red for mute and green for unmute. We can do the same for the MXA mute button. You can select different colors for the mute and unmute status. We can also go to the Coverage tab. When setting up coverage, we can click on the microphone that's in the room. In this case, it's the MXA920 Ceiling Array microphone, and when we go over to the Property panel on the right of this screen, we can select the light settings where we'll be taken to the same screen as we saw under the Routing tab. You will be able to set up the colors of the LED for the mute and unmute behaviors. We can set up the microphone LED colors for mute and unmute behaviors in either tab. This is another easy way to use the Properties panel. Our next video will show you how to deploy and connect our room to live devices in a live room.